Okay. Now let's look at question number nine. So let's say there is sun is there, and then there are two poles. One pole is of five meters sixty centimeters. So let's say it is five point six meters. Five meters sixty centimeters is five point six meters. Um, it it casts the shadow of three meters twenty centimeters. So three point two meters. Okay. At the same time, uh, the length of the shadow cast cast by another pole. So if there is another pole which is almost twice the size. Which is ten point five cent, ten point five meters, which is ten meters fifty centimeter. What would be the length of the shadow? So this, let's call it x one. You have to find the length of the shadow. Now the interesting thing is that it is said that it is at the same time because what they don't want to give you a confusion is that sun has moved because if sun would have moved, the length of shadows would have differed. So that's why. It is saying it at the same time, so that same time has a reason over here. So let's see how to solve this problem. Again, it is a problem of direct proportion. Longer the length of the pole, the longer will be the shadow. The shorter the length of the pole, the shorter will be the shadow. The so pole length and shadow length. So it, if it was 5.6 meters, then the shadow was 3.2 meters. If the length of the pole is 10.5 meters, what is the length of the shadow? Let's call it x1. So doing direct proportion, 5.6 divided by 3.2 is equal to 10.5 divided by x1. So x1 is equal to 5.6, uh, sorry, then the cross multiplication, x1 is equal to 10.5 into 3.2 divided by 5.6. Uh, it is divisible by 2, so let's do it, 10.5 into 1.6, and this would be 2.8. Again, it is divisible by two. It is 10.5 into 0 0.8 divided by 1.4. Again, it is divisible by two. Um, is equal to 10.5 into 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.7. Um, this is divided divisible by 7, so I'll just make it 105 divided by 7. Remember the 7. 135, 15. So 15 into 0.4 is equal to 6.0. So 6.0 meters would be the length of the shadow. So this length is 6.0 meters. This was part one. Now let's look at part two. Find the height of the pole. So you have to find, let's say, y2, which will cast the shadow of 5 meters. So it will cast the shadow of 5 meters. Again, it will be in the same proportion. So 5.6 divided by 3.2 is equal to y2 divided by 5. So it is y2 is equal to 5.6 into 5 divided by 3.2. Um, again, solving. Uh, so this is 1.6. This is 2.8. 1.4. 
um, 0 0.4 into 0 0.7, um, 0 0.7, uh, 7 into 5 is 35 divided by 4. So the answer will come out to be uh, 8. Um, Eight three by four. Three by four meters. So eight three by four is equal to eight point seven five meters. Thank you.